Swaggles Gaming 99, and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Today, we're going to be going into the original wasteland. And it wasn't obvious, this place used to be underwater way, way back when, before it somehow became a desert. The wastes where life began. It's really rather sad. Defeat the lost squishy. So, what happened to all the water? Complete like this. Sorry. other stuff in this area that I don't need ring mouth for. Crystal Needle Blueprint. Now you can have all the needle ability. Take it to Wild Lee's Weapon Shop. There's three flying targets in this area that you need to find. And the flying targets... You need them to find another hidden one, the And I have kind of forgotten where most of them are. But I know that they all should be in this area. Or I'm wrong, again. No wait, I'm right. They're all here in this area. Yep. And shooting all three of those flying targets gets you a waddle D. That's, that just, that, and that's all three of the hit, and that's all three of the random qualities you have to find in this stage. 
all here in the first area. Oh yeah, and Kabu can teleport in case any of you didn't know that. And here's another hidden one with me! Just one more to go and then I just need to finish the stage. There's another capsule! What do you guys all think of this series anyway? I know it's not doing too good thanks to the algorithm due to a new Kirby game coming out, but I'm just wondering what you all think. Just let me know in the comments, I guess. I want to know what you guys are thinking of me going through Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Because I enjoy doing, playing this game, and I enjoy sharing it with you all. Don't get me wrong, I know, it, I know it's a bit late, and I know that it's kind of getting stalled in the because the, on the algorithm side of things, because it's old, it's over two years old. Clearing the stage, save the hidden wild of these, shoot three flying targets, defeat the lost Squiddy, and defeat Florina using Ring Mouth. And there's an Awoofy. There's. Oh! The Wondaria statue! Wondaria was named after its founder, an author who wrote stories about a dog that explores outer space. These stories became incredibly popular and were later used as the basis of the Wondaria theme park. A land of dreams for kids of all ages. And more than likely adults too. And there's some more captured Wobblies. There's a steak! Not the kind you eat. A wooden one. There's another jab hog, and that's it.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, what are these saved? And two new star roads have opened with the toy hammer treasure and the, the gigant sword treasure. Next time on Kirby and the Forgotten Land, we're gonna be going in. We're gonna be going into the only source of water in this giant heaping desert that was once an ocean. I'll see you all then. Peace.